Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. If you do much IFR flying, your world, or at least that portion of it having to do with charts and approach plates, has changed radically in the last 18 months thanks to Apple's iPad. It seems to have done what no other technology has been able to do, namely provide a practical, easy to use chart reader and cockpit flight library. In this series of brief videos, we're going to take a look at a new product from Jefferson called Jefferson Mobile Flight Deck. Now most of these apps use the FAA's AeroNav data, but Jefferson recently upped its game by introducing Mobile Flight Deck. This is available to all of the company's subscribers signed up for electronic chart products. What's different about it? Well, for one, it uses Jefferson's charting products, not the FAA's, and for another, it's focused laser-like on chart and approach plate management. Eventually, it will get additional features like in-flight weather and flight planning, but for now, it's primarily a chart manager. The app is free from Apple's App Store, and although it's limited to the iPad for now, Jefferson is looking into other platforms and mobile devices. If you already have JetView, ExpressJetView, JetView MFD, or NavSuite subscriptions, all you need is a site key to download the data to your iPad. There's no additional charge. Now what's really different about Mobile Flight Deck is that it's data driven, so all the charts and approach plates aren't just PDF renditions, but are constructed directly from a detailed navigational database loaded into the iPad. The charts are vector based, so they're sharp and clear at all scales. When you first activate the app, the download takes a few minutes, but after that, revisions are quickly accessed when your iPad is in range of a wireless network. As with paper charts, the revisions are available on a 28-day cycle. Jefferson says depending on your coverage areas, you'll need about 1.5 gigabytes of storage. In the next video, we'll take a look at how Mobile Flight Deck works. I'm Paul Bertarelli, reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching.